It's being offered for the first time. Families are starting to receive their working families tax credit refund. The tax credit is available to lower income Washington families. It's sponsored by the Department of Revenue and so far we're told 100,000 families have applied. New at 630, Vanessa Perez is here to break down what you need to apply. Yeah, well, I spoke to organizers at the American Indian Community Center who say the tax credit gives families some cushion and even stimulates the economy. To apply, you'll need to have lived in Washington for at least six months last year and filed a federal tax return. More relief for Washington families. I have three kiddos and I used to be a single, mo you know, single mom, but this is going to help uh, at least boost them. Like last year, we got the child payments and everything else and no one don't have that anymore. The American Indian Community Center is helping people navigate the application process. A single parent with two children making a little over $49,000 could receive up to $900. The same for a married couple making over $55,000. This is backed by the Department of Commerce, so we know that uh, on a macro level that it can help stimulate the economy. Um, these dollars are going to go right back in. They're going to be spent. One man recently came in to check on his refund. He's qualified for a $300 uh, uh, tax credit refund, if you like, and he's using that to get into uh, a, an apartment. He's currently experiencing homelessness. But I imagine a lot of folks, this will be used uh, to pay groceries and to feed the kids. Kelly says the money from the program comes from sales tax. Families could receive their payment within 30 days. So need your social security or taxpayer identification number. You'll need to be at least 25 years or old and under the age of 64 or have a qualifying child to apply. There are other organizations offering application assistance as well. Some are even doing pop-up events. The deadline to apply for the tax credit is the end of this year. You can visit our website kxly.com for more information.